This sensor is one of many set up in 84-year-old Sara Casademont's home in Valencia, Spain. They monitor her movements and send that information to her family so they can literally keep an eye on her. I control her activity in her house. I see if she has left the house, if she comes back, if she had lunch or dinner. If something is different from her usual routine, it is a signal that something is going wrong. It might seem invasive to some people, but Casa de Mont says the sensors make her feel safe. I feel relaxed knowing that my relatives are monitoring me through the server or whatever camera they have. I think it is great and I feel comfortable. The information is also monitored at a central location that looks for unusual activity. We are able to detect any kind of uh, risky situation or any trend that can advance uh, uh, some kind of troubles that can come with the aging process. So the, the elderly uh, families, the relatives, can really uh, have the first-hand uh, information about the status and the well-being of their relative. The program is called Octavage, and it is designed to help elderly people remain independent in their homes as long as possible. We can uh, make longer the time that this person is living in his or her own house, you know. And this produces a, a, a very important reduce in the amount of the money from social services or even from their uh, private uh, services. This pilot project is monitoring thousands of people across nine European countries and will run for the next three years. Kevin Enix, VOA News, Washington.